you. Hold on, let's get in front of this mural. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, there we go, we're in the wilderness. We are silent. Hi, driving by Dan Housen's commercial. We are at Rootless Coffee Co, as you can see on this sign. Davis, hold this sign with Dan Housen's uh, Yes, we're gonna learn. See that? You must fell. Wonderful. It's already off to a great start. Then has a wonderful friend who owns this coffee uh, factory. Yep, it's a rootless coffee co. Yes, yes, yes. Who is this fellow? I'm Sean. Oh, okay. Yeah, I also own. Rootless oh, they are co-owners of this yes, place. Yes, yes. We can CGI that out in the place so that way it appears to are more important than everyone here. That's fine. I'm cool okay, well, if you're okay with that, it's like whatever wonderful. Whatever works. Whatever works. Fine hoodies. You yes, know who prints uh, these? Edgeman Printing. Oh, we've yes, been there. Yes. It's owned by Hank the Dog. <laughs> so, uh, yes, well, we are going to learn how to do some proper roasting today of some sort, uh, thanks to these two fine fellows. Davis is not going to teach us anything. He's just here to help Dan out and assist. Uh, but yes, uh, what are we doing first? Let's uh, show you how to roast some coffee. Fantastic. Probably right. flamethrowers you have stored somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Is exactly. This... It's it's this machine right here. Okay. Yeah, this is our Bellwether coffee roaster. Uh, it's a zero emissions roaster, so that means it does not pump any CO2 into the air. No uh, oxygen is being thrown into this room whatsoever oh, right now. We no will all be decimated in seconds. Exactly. As soon as this button is here. Correct. So would you like to uh, learn how to do this? Oh, absolutely. Let's see. All right. So this is the hopper. So we'll take the hopper. All right. And we'll go this way. Okay. We're going to fill it with trash. Yes. We, Very good. With ice cream scoops. Loads of trash. All right. So what you do is we have our scale. Yes. Put the hopper on the scale. I'm going to give you that. Yeah, well, wonderful. And uh, we're going to do... Scoop some dirty ice. Let's do, let's do this one. What is this? Now, what is this one called? This is our... What is Limu? It's an Ethiopia Limu Kosa that is our nostalgia roast. So we don't actually... We have names for our coffees. That way it's, it's more accessible for people. So when we say Ethiopia Limu Kosa, most people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Nostalgia? That makes sense. Brings you back to the old times. Yes, the old ah, times. Yes. All right. So this is the, uh, the green coffee. Here. Oh, yes. Usually the coffee beans are uh, a brown or black color, yes? That is true. These are not roasted yet. So you're going to scoop six pounds into that thing. This? Look yes. at this. Look at all these beans. All, all right. right. While you're doing that, I'm going to turn this thing off. Okay. It's so we do what? We six pounds. Six pounds. This fellow, he says uh, six pounds, but Dan has is going to do 666 pounds. Got two. Let's see. Now, what happens if some beans fall? Like, like so. Like that. Does that happen often? It does. Very often. Now, this especially is, if Jono is doing the roast. Product roast. waste. Yes. Look at that. How did it go down? It just went down. I don't think it did. Wow. What do you know? I don't know. I don't know. But then when Dan Housen takes a little bit. A little bit comes out. It goes to 614. How do we get 666? Oh. <laughs> Take out eight ounces. Back, and you'll be good. All night, all night. Just like this? Yep. Making the most evil coffee. I was wrong. You're wrong! I was wrong. This fellow does not know about coffee. What? Now, oh, come on! Oh! 
Yeah. Okay, well, now we're ready to go. Yes. Oh, no, you said we must have six. We must have six. Oh, yes. Jesus Christ. It's going to be the director's cut, <laughs> where we do a bunch of extras. The Snyder Cut. The Snyder Cut. It will be four hours long if Dan hasn't trying to get the perfect number. You think this is good? Yeah, that's fine. This is fine? Well, that's fine. Okay. All right. So then we put this lid on here. Yes. That way, so when the coffee goes into the roaster, it doesn't blow coffee dust everywhere. It'd be quite bad. Yes. All right. Now this, if you want to push that in till it locks. Now boulder's going to come down and decimate us, yes? Yes. Or is that if you take it? If you take it. Oh, yeah. All right. So here's the really interesting part. We go to Ethiopia, yes. Cosa Natural. This is a medium roast. Okay. Hit the hit the prepare button. You ready? We duplicate it. We do multiplicity. It will come out with more coffee. Yeah. That's how it works. All right. Prepare. Prepare. Up. Down. Did it work? All good. Wait. Hold on. It said bean obstruction. You see that? It did. Why? Sometimes the beans are obstructed. The bean obstruction. It's a good bandit too. Yes. So this is just a, this is a pre-roast check. So we did add the beans to the hot yes. box. So that's good. We have a bucket underneath. So yep, the yep, coffee yep. will go into there when it's done roasting. So we're good. And now hit start roast. I'm gonna hit the bean obstruction. Hey, you're all set. That's it? That's it. Now how long does this process take? Well, it's got a preheat, so that's about 20 minutes. And then uh, we have about 15 minutes of roast time. I'm sorry, 27 minutes. Jesus Christ, this is gonna take forever. You know how busy Dan Housen is? It's a, it's a process, so it takes a while. I have a cool idea. Come over here, I'm oh, gonna show you how to get our bags prepared. Very good. So, normally what we do is we hand sticker every bag. Yes. Um, we so Dan Housen has uh, Davis do. Exactly. <laughs> Should hire a Davis. So what we do is, we get our beans. Yes. We get another scale, your favorite. And what I want to have you do. Okay. I know you love scooping. What? Yeah, I suppose ice cream. So if you can get 12 ounces in here. Yes. Not 666 this time. Ideally How much nothing. is a 12 usually? Uh, I would say about one and a half big scoops. Oh, okay. So we'll try to make this one just correct right away. Exactly. Yeah. That's uh, not quite, not quite enough. Let's see. How much more? I don't think I did the right thing on there. He spent all. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's probably on grams because I was uh, brewing coffee and we do that with grams. Look at this. Yeah. They're about to destroy so, each other. <laughs> you just hit make mode. It, make it go. <laughs> you just hit mode. All right, so we're gonna figure. Well, that's you're, how you're we do smart. this. This is doing coffee math right now. Uh, Dan uh, Housini Davis do not know how to do coffee math, but we're learning. Now it is correct. All right, we're good. We're good. Okay. We're good to go. All right, Snyder so cut. I'm gonna have you scoop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that comes in well. Wait. Okay. Pretty good. Now it was uh, one and a half, you say? As long as it gets to 12, that's the Now minute. we're at 13.9. All right, so we want to get a little bit out of there. Let's see. Uh, 13.5, 12.6. All right, so you put that back in the bucket and do a little bit scoop more. All right, you're almost there. Perfect. So for Dan, as you swag. 11.9. And drop a few little guys back on. Your, yeah, bean, your bean math is uh, <laughs> not quite on par with the other fellows. So I want to make up for it because we have something special for you. Oh. Oh! So we made a special Danhausen roast. What Danhausen Coffeehausen. Oh my. It smells good. Is that what this is? It is, yep. Holy crap. You hear that, Davis? Danhausen cool. becomes more famous by the moment. So what we're going to have you do is actually put one of your stickers on your bag and make your own bag. Jesus Christ, Dan Housen's so famous. So, go ahead and put that. There's a seal right here. Oh, put it along that right line. Right here? Yep. 
This is going to be crooked. Oh, no, it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Awesome. Wow! This All is right. fantastic. And then, what we're going to have you do... Open this guy up. Yes! Look at the beans. Energy beans! We like that. And then... You can who, spilled, who spilled water here? Is it this fellow? It was a man. The co-owner? The co-owner. Should take your shares. I didn't say it. Alright, so then you're gonna grab it from right here. Okay. And then this, you're gonna oh, scoop it right into there. A wonderful tube. Well, no, oh, see, here's the problem. You gotta get the, the face on there. Now we take a this. true brand expert. Ah, oh, you don't even know it. <laughs> Let's the beans. Perfect. I've been engulfed by Dan Housen. All right. So now you want to learn how to seal it too? Oh, of course. All right. So make sure they're all down here. Sean, wherever you are. I'm right here. He's right here. He's coming doing, around. Doing Davis. a circle. Yeah. Make it right. for the owner. So this is our uh, little belt sealer here. Check it out. Just like that. Oh, it smashes it. Yes. And then you have a nice... Add these later. Put you a little bit of all the coffee roast. And you have a nice, beautiful seal. Yes. It's not coming out. Are we sure? You want to try? Impervious. Check out this. This is wonderful. What a great product. And that's how you bag coffee. Watch it. Hold on. Hold on. Hilarious. All right. Let, let's put this in the, the roster. Now now these, this is what a lineup this is. Got this owl who, by the way, keeps making cameos somehow in Dan Housen's videos. It seems to be on four or five of them so far. And it's always adding a swear word. And the CGI owl did, of course. Yep. But yes, it's wonderful. Dan Housen's easy as everywhere. All right, what are we doing next? So you want to try some coffee too? Oh, no. End the video. Just right. kidding. Yes, let's do it. Let's try these coffees. Awesome. All right, let's get this sand over here. All right. Well, now Dan Housen is at the uh, one of the final steps, which is tasting the coffees. So we have these uh, three roasts, and these fine fellows, uh, Jado Housen and John Housen, are going to explain what they taste like, and then we're going to taste them. All right. We'll start with a damn fine cup of coffee. This is our uh, this is our staple roast. By the way, swearing on Dan Housen. A fine cup of coffee. A fine, a very fine cup oh, of coffee. Okay. There we go. Is that better? Very fine, very evil. Very, yes, very evil. So this is this is our staple roast. Um, it's a light medium blend. Okay. Of uh, Brazil and Nicaraguan coffees. Yes. And it has tasting notes that are kind of nutty, chocolatey, very smooth, well balanced cup of coffee. It's the kind of cup of coffee you can make in a coffee pot, or you could do a pour over, or a French press. Or a scientific experiment yes. monster lab type in a, thing? In a beaker. Oh, so oh okay. It's, it's yeah, really a uh, Muppet fellow. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a little bit of this to try. Okay. I'll take some too. John, would you like some? Sure. You know what? He's not even sure if he wants to try his own coffee. I've been drinking coffee all morning. <laughs> do we have ice to add to this? We do not have ice. Well, Dan has a nice and nice iced coffee. Quite rude. All right, let's try it. Mm. Pretty good. All right. It tastes like uh, you ever gone into the park and there's trees there. There's bark. You take a nice lick. It hurts your tongue, but it tastes a little bit uh, earthy. Yeah, it's got yeah. an earthy flavor. All right. Pretty good. Yeah. It's not, you know, Dan Housen's uh, normal recipe for coffee, but it's pretty good. Fantastic. Okay. All right, next we're going to do... Tastes berry. like strawberries. Yes, this is the Berry Kiss. This is our uh, high-end coffee. It's a natural, e processed Ethiopian yoga shop. You say high-end. What does this mean? It's a very high-quality uh, coffee. So it costs more. It does. Yes. Oh, this is the premium rich this is coffee the for premium. the famous celebrities that come in here. <laughs> yes, like yourself. Yes, it, yeah. oh, thank you for noticing. You should take note from this one. You should take your shares. Maybe I will. 
Maybe I will. Um, so this is our berry kiss. This is our natural Ethiopian Yurga chef coffee. Um, and it had, it's very berry forward. It's gonna be very smooth. Ooh. It's a, a grade one coffee, which Thanks. means it's like extremely high quality. And this is great as a French press or a pour over. I am partial as a French press. Oh, this hear that, really Davis? Really yeah. Get the French press. Okay. And that's for you. All right. So this will taste like berries. It'll taste like and berries. And it tips too. So if you spin it around and give it a little sniff. <laughs> that's perfect. Yep. And then. Oh, wait. it smells like a. Fruity pebbles? No. Those, okay. no. no. You have fruity pebble creamer. We don't. It's okay. wonderful. You should try it sometime. <laughs> and then when you sip, so do you know how to aerate when you sip? Yes. So you do the little slurp and it cools it down when you drink it. Oh. And it hits all of the flavors on your flavor palette. It tastes like uh, raspberries a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is that the flavor it's supposed to taste like? It is. And that, that flavor is not added. That's actually, the coffee is processed with the cherry oh. on it because coffee is a fruit. So normally they wash all the cherry and the pulp off of it, but they actually dry this with that on there. So it gives it the fruity flavor. This tastes like no fruit that has never had. But yeah. Ah! There's just beans in there now in your mouth. Are these edible? Oh yeah. Is it just direct energy? Yep, right to the bloodstream. Oh, good. Especially the pocket beans. Yeah, the pocket beans are the best. All right, there we go. All <laughs> right, and then this is my personal favorite blend. As it should be. The Dan Danhausen Coffeehausen. Very nice, very evil. Um, this is a Brazilian roast, and it is great in a drip coffee maker. French press and a pour over. Good, you know, you told Dan House he should eat these beans. They're just ingrained in Dan House's mouth now, though. Did you like them? I'm, I'm all set. Only because I've had enough coffee. It. That's delicious. Yeah, so there's your pour. Do you want to give it a shot? All right. Oh, this one is steaming. Are you going to spin? Yep. Okay. There we go. Now we are right. It's just like Dan Housing. Actually, you know what? It doesn't. We must add a. Uh, you have cream, creme, creme, and uh, sugar. We do. Ooh. All right. Now, look at all this sugar. You sure this is not a sugar business? It could be. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> look at all this, Davis. Yeah, that's it. Take, take some. Okay. Take it. All right. All right. We'll use it later. All right. Now we will make it just how Dan Housen likes it. All right. Then we'll do a little more. Dan Housen recommends you do the same. We'll see, though. All right. Well, yeah, you want to get one sugar in the raw there, though, because it is healthy. Mm, that's correct. It balances. It offsets everything, yeah. Oh, yeah. Davis, open this. Okay. All right. Let's see if we go faster. Whoop. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at he's going ahead. How many do you want? That's enough. Okay. All right. Now this is a cup of coffee. A uh, very fine cup of there coffee. Yes. Oh. Now the flavor notes of this are sugar and cream, <laughs> and uh, it's pretty good. Tastes very evil. What would you call that? What, what's your specific drink called? What do you mean? What would you name? Is that a latte? Yeah, Starbucks double shot on ice. That's right. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty good though. So, we should uh, add some creams. Yeah. Need more cream. Yeah, it's very good. And, uh, yes, add some Brazilian roasted teeth. Just like it. Uh, what do you say? There's a premium. Yeah, it was a, a grade one. There we go. For the Ethiopian coffee. Did yes. you catch that? Look at this. Add just a couple. Yeah, we're all going to try it the Dan Housing way. You hear no that way. little dingle? All right. Uh, you got to get more than that. If you want to have a healthy career as a coffee enthusiast. 
Thank you. There you go. Look at that bounce. That's how you know it's a good bean, a good tooth adder. Mm. That's a good bounce. So, uh, where's the dead housing for it? There we go. This one is for them. We'll shall add it. Thank you. Get, look at that. Wow. You ever see that? They do it in TV shows. They show a TV shot of the nice pouring of the coffee. All right, now, you shall add all the sugars. Go ahead. Thank you. Go ahead. And your uh, creams. There we go. There we go. And let's cheers to this wonderful coffee trip at Rootless Coffee Co. Let's all enjoy a Dan Housing special. Wonderful. Oh. Mm, very good, very evil. Anyways, love that Dan Housing. Thank you all. Buy some coffee. Fade back in. We forgot to tell them where to buy this coffee. Rootlesscoffee.com. What? He doesn't have to say it twice, so RootlessCoffee.com. 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 You hear that? You heard it multiplicity amount of times, so go buy it. RootlessCoffee. RootlessCoffee.com.